Hi there, I'm Andy Jones and welcome back to Get Modern. Today we're going to cover automatic enrolment. Automatic enrolment is part of our step 5 and our Intune video series and it's quite an important step when you're first setting up. It allows your end users to enrol their own devices, uh, be it BYOD or corporate owned devices. But before that happens, you will need to assign those users with a, uh, an Intune and Azure AD Premium license. So let's go ahead into the Endpoint Manager Admin Center and we'll take a look. So if we navigate to through Devices, then Windows, and we're going to click on Windows Enrollment here, you'll see there's an option here for Automatic Enrollment. I'll click on that and you see the options that we have available here. So we've got some options where we can switch these on, non, some and all, and we've got two user scopes. We've got MDM user scope and we've got MAM user scope. So MDM user, user scope is typically targeted at corporate owned devices where you want to enroll devices where they're fully managed. And MAM user scope is typically targeting your um, personal or BYOD devices where you're basically going to partially manage those devices and roll out some app protection policies for them. Now these options that you have across the top if you select that to none the MDM user scope will not be able to enroll uh, your devices the same for MAM and if you pick some you'll need to select a group. So you'll ne need to select a specific user group here that you're going to assign it to. These individual URLs here are default. They're, they're set by default and they automatically connect to the Intune service. If you did have a different MDM service, this is where you would change those URLs to point, point them at. Now there are a few other key points that I need to raise here in relation to these two user scopes. Just going to switch over to the Microsoft website. And these points highlight that for BYOD devices, the MAM user scope takes precedence if both the MAM user scope and the MDM user scope are enabled for all users. The device will not be MDM enrolled and Windows information protection policies will be applied if you have configured them. So this is all around the BYOD devices and it's kind of highlighting that the MAM takes precedence there. If you do intend though to enable automatic enrollment for BYOD devices to MDM, you need to configure the MDM user scope to all or some where you pick a group and configure the MAM user scope to none or some and specify a group. You need to also make sure that your users are not members of a group targeted by both MDM and MAM user scopes. And then lastly, you've got corporate devices. So you've got the MDM user scope takes precedence if both MDM and MAM user scopes are enabled. The device will get automatically enrolled in the configured MDM. So those are quite key points there, right? So that determines how you will select these switches and which which devices and how you want those devices to be enrolled. So what I want to show you quickly next is let's say for example you want to enroll your Windows device. The way you, which you would do that is you go to your settings and within settings you can pick accounts and then within accounts you can choose the access work or school option and at this point you can add um, add your account. So you connect to it, you put in your um, your credentials, your Azure AD credentials here and then that will take you through the steps in order to connect and register that device. I'm going to go back to the uh, endpoint manager here and there's one more point I want to highlight and that is when you have these user scopes set to all this typically can scare a few people and they're not always entirely sure what that means. Um, generally people think that it means that any type of device can be enrolled but obviously when you combine it with the other settings that you're setting up here when when you initially set up your Intune platform 
that's not the case. So I'll quickly show you the uh, enrollment restrictions option here. We've been through this in another video, so take a look at it on, on one of the other steps. But under device restrictions, if I go into the default settings and then properties, I'm going to edit that, you'll see that within here you've got the options to block or allow the different platforms. Okay, This will not only allow you to block and allow, but it will also allow you to put in the minimum and maximum versions as well. Um, and actually device uh, manufacturers manufacturers as well so you can add these additional restraints or restrictions to um, allow certain users and certain device types to enroll Microsoft recommend that you switch on two-factor authentication for your users enrolling their devices and this isn't switched on by default when you do uh, enable the automatic enrollment service so you will need to go and configure that separately and then enable it for your individual users and obviously make the, the various types of two-factor authentication uh, available to them. Okay, so that's it for now. Thanks very much. Check out the next video and hope to see you again.